Good positive how's it going what I got for you guys today the second upload of today and if you missed my previous upload a link to that will be down in the description or go ahead and go check in your sub boxes a couple hours ago maybe like one or two depending on how things go but yeah guys if you do enjoy this by all means make sure to hit that like button much like always guys if we can get 300 likes that'll be absolutely amazing and I will make sure to upload two more showdown lives for you guys tomorrow also I want to go ahead and say, I want to I want to go ahead and say thank you to everybody for the amazing support that you showed on my second upload of yesterday i honestly did spend like two to three hours just trying to get a second battle for you guys and it just it was very very unlucky for me those couple of hours but yeah thank you everybody for the amazing support you, you showed the amazing support you showed on that uh why do i talk why do i bother talking how, i don't know how you guys can stand me honestly especially those of you who do watch both videos a day i don't, I don't know how you can stand my voice but yeah, anyways, I got this really, really fun team based around a sticky web, and what? What the hell? Okay, okay. Well, I mean, oh, honestly, even it doesn't do anything but get up. Sticky web. Okay, that was weird. I mean, I had about it earlier, and the speed did not... Well, those... that really, It really didn't come in handy. Well, anyways, <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. But yeah, this team was based around uh, Sticky Web. Originally, this was Shuckle, but with the tier changes, Shuckle kind of left. So I kind of threw in Lee Vandy, the second best uh, Sticky Webber, I guess you could say, behind Shuckle. But now that Shuckle's gone, I guess it's Lee Vandy. Although, I have kind of, just a little bit, been wanting to try Area Dose because it gets Sticky Web and it gets Toxic Spikes, which hand-in-hand -hand work together, kind of. They they are very handy. But yeah, just uh, Toxic, x Scissor, Magical, Sticky Web, I guess it's standard. I honestly did had no idea what to put in the fourth move, so I just kind of threw in Toxic. Uh, we have Fist Plate Primeape here with Encore just to be able to stop things that defog. Well, not kind of stop them from defogging, but like Encore them into defogging so they can continue to give me the uh, plus two in my attack and I destroy their face. We have Choice. Oh my god, this... This is the definition of power. Choice, banded, reckless, max attack, adamant with head charge. Woo! Oh, you guys have no idea the raw power of this Buffalon. Next, we have uh, Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb is just here to trap Zatu and Sigilyph because they could probably be problems to my team. We have Scarf Magneton, which I know might seem mob, but the only reason I have Scarf Magneton is to be able to stop things that levitate like Miss Magius, Archeops, Zatu, Sigilyph, although I'm gonna have Spirit Tomb for Zatu and Sigilyph, there are instances where I might lose Spirit Tomb, so yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> and then finally off, we have good old Lord Chata, and this this is honestly the most annoying set ever. If you want to use a Chata, then go ahead. I have been contemplating switching this to Modest as opposed to Timid, but eh, I don't know, maybe, maybe. I don't know, cause like I uh, there's honestly like no real reason to run Timid over Modest, but Richard gave me some reasons the other night, and I just kind of forgot. So I think for now we're just gonna keep it in the in the Timid range. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get. All right, guys, so we got a game here, and this dude has a very interesting team. Uh, he has the threat known as Shift Tree, um, which means he has Defog on that, but then I do have Primeape. Uh, what's he gonna lean off with? Uh, I don't. E I don't even think Sticky Web is gonna come in too handy outside of that. Um, Typhlosion. Although I'm still just gonna lead off with Leave Any. As he ends up leading off with the Vivillion. I want. I'm gonna go straight for the Magicoat, predicting him to Sleep Powder. As he actually ends up going for the Hurricane, which is not a bad play on his part. And what I could do is just go straight for the Toxic. Wait a minute. Did I really just do that? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I am the stupidest fucking person ever. I, I thought he would sleep powder. I don't know why. I guess I guess in my mind I was thinking, okay, he's probably gonna predict me to switch. Which I mean I guess that wouldn't be too bad, but honestly, I had no reason to magic on holy fuck, I'm retarded. I'm seriously stupid, guys. I am the embodiment of stupidity. I truly do apologize for that shitty play. But as I said, I don't think Sticky Web is going to come in too handy in this battle anyways. Um, can I bring in my chat talk? I think I'm faster than Vavillion. I should be faster than Vavillion. Hold on. Slash data. 
Yeah, it's only base 89, and I am base uh, 92, I believe. No, 91, 91. But I'm still faster. Still faster either way. Also, I did not change the background. This should be the Wi-Fi background, but it, it's fine. It's no big deal. But yeah, I'm going to take this chance just to substitute to see what he wants to do. As he ends up going for the Sleep Powder, which is a really bad play on his part. Because what I can do now is go for the Chatter or the Boom Burst. Even though Chatter is super effective. I mean, I guess I can't confuse whatever he wants to bring in. So that wouldn't be too bad of a play. As I'm able to easily knock him out. So the fact that he lead off with that still has me thinking he probably did have the Focus Sash. And I mean, with it being toxic, it wouldn't be too handy to him. As he ends up bringing in the Quillfish, this is a really questionable play for him to do. Seeing as Boom Burst should be an easy to a KO. Or am I being... Oh, holy crap. Really? Really? It does 99%? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's a ah, uh, that's actually rather annoying. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> it's funny though. It's funny. Though. I'm not upset. It's just it's really funny in my opinion. But he does manage to break my sub as he's gonna bring in the Typhlosion. Uh, this is what I'm truly terrified of. Ah, uh, because even if he was scarfed, he probably still outsped my entire team. Uh, well, except for Magneton, I suppose, but still. Just gonna leave this in as he goes for the safe eruption. And I should be able to bring in my Spirit Tomb now. I'm gonna Sucker Punch. Oh, no, should I Pursuit? No, no, I'm gonna Sucker Punch. Yeah. I feel that's my best play. Alright, so he ended up making the terrible play of staying in. I guess maybe thinking I would pursue, but that's what I'm gonna do this turn. As I managed to get rid of the Typhlosion, holy crap, Typhlosion was such a huge problem to my team. If I had not made that super play of magic coding for some reason, thinking that he would sleep powder, thinking I would switch, then I would have been able to get on my web to kind of slow him down. So he's gonna bring in the shift tree. I do indeed have the will o -Wisp for this as he knocks off. I'm able to just barely live. And as long as I don't miss, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are doing good, we are doing good. I'm gonna go ahead and sucker punch. Actually, no. Well, I was gonna say I kinda wanna pursue predicting him to switch, but yeah. Anyways, uh, losing this really isn't too big of a deal, seeing as I do still have Magneton to kind of check that Sigilyph. As I bring in my Primeape, I should be able to just safely go for the U-turn. Even if he sucker punched with him being burned, it's not gonna be doing anything to me, and then this way I can go into my Magneton and just Bolt Switch. Although, that milk tank could be a bit of a problem. Um, I kind of actually want to bring in Bushido Brown to show you guys the raw power. Because I, I can live any one attack from Sigilyph and any one attack from milk tank. And I think that would be better for me because if I get rid of either one of those two Pokemon that he has left, then that will open up for my Magneton or my Primate to come in. For example, if I get rid of Sigilyph, I can bring in Primate close combat this Mil Tank. If I get rid of Mil Tank, I can bring in Magneton and Thunderbolt the Sigilyph. So either way, I feel Buffalon was definitely my better play to bring in because I'm guaranteed to knock something out on his team for sure. So I'm gonna go straight for the head charge as he ends up going for the Toxic. Did you see the damage? Good lord. Oh my god, that's... <laughs> That's a milk tank, ladies and gentlemen. That is a milk tank. Oh my. The power is real, Bushido Brown. The power is real. So he's just gonna make the odd play by going for the uh, milk drink. I mean, I guess he could have body slammed, but honestly, it would have it wouldn't have killed me even with the crit. So he just really had nothing else that he could have done that turn. And I will be able to go for the head charge again as he turns out to be the uh, defensive Sigilyph variant. And the, oh my god, the power is too real. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Magneton, and I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt, and that is going to be the victory in my favor. So yeah, I did really misplay turn one. I don't know why I thought he would predict me to switch. Like, honestly, that's, that's what I'm thinking is what he... Ugh, I don't even know what to say, guys. For those of you who stayed after that terrible, terrible first play... And thank you. <laughs> but let's take a look at the team again. I really do want to use this team again because I didn't really get to show off Leave Any outside of toxicing that Vavillion and kind of preventing him from wanting to set up anymore. But Bushido Brown, oh my lord. Guys, Buffalon is a monster. And Spiritomb, honestly, Spiritomb, if 
if I had not sucker punched then pursued it, that Typhlosion still would have been a problem actually. Uh, thankfully though, Spiritomb came through and I did make the right place on a sucker punch then pursued it and got rid of the Typhlosion. Uh, as I said guys, for some reason, I don't know what I was thinking turn one, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy and if you did, you know what to do. Make sure to hit that like button guys, as I said, if we can get 300 likes, that would be absolutely amazing and I would definitely make sure to upload two more of these tomorrow for you guys. And with that being said, if you missed my first upload, then by all means, make sure to go check that out. So yeah, have a good day and or night whenever you're watching this and with that, I will see you all soon. So later everybody, gotta go to work in a couple hours after I finish this, so... Yeah, well not in a couple hours, in like an hour or two maybe, but I have to render, edit, well, I have to edit, render, then upload, and just all that shenanigans. But yeah, thank you for watching, <laughs> later everybody.